Hello students, welcome you all into the Jazz Fall Edu Maths. We were doing complex number here. Uh, that was the last answer. Okay, so now uh, we need to do something very important. Okay, and uh, the, we are going to do the geometric representation of the complex number. And uh, the complex number is in the form that we know that. Uh, z equal to a plus iota b so here a is the real part and z and iota b is the imaginary part so our mathematician also represent this number on the on not on the re, uh, re, uh, on the real plane but the plane they derive it is called what argon plane or gaussian plane or complex plane where you uh, there is a horizontal axis we represent it as x x dash this is a real real uh, what real, to, real real axis real axis okay and the vertical one is called y y dash y y dash it is the it is called imaginary here imaginary axis okay so the real axis and imaginary axis so the the p is the point okay so suppose a and b both are positive okay so here you that this is this is called o this is called p the point you can write it as a comma b all right so this one is the representation of uh, uh, of the complex number on the argon uh, on the argon argon plane or gaussian plane so op is the length here so what do you call it op so when we find the position okay this would be considered as a all right and this would be this length would be considered as b or okay this would be b so this op the length op is called the uh, the what the modulus so this would be the right angle triangle when you found when you find the value of op okay the distance from uh, distance of point p from the origin it will be uh, hypotenuse square equal to you know that base square plus perpendicular square so base is a and perpendicular is b so it will be a square plus b square all right so so here you can write op equal to under root of a square plus b square all right so this uh, op is called as r or modulus of z okay a square plus b square what is a is the real part of the complex number what is b is the b is the coefficient of imagine or you can say that the imaginary part okay so all right yes now what we have find uh, okay this what do you call the angle we call it uh, what argument i think yeah it is argument or or amplitude argument or amplitude maybe amplitude or not is it amplitude i want to see it again plan what i have explained here argument or amplitude yes amplitude is so we call it theta okay theta is the angle which is made made by this this line op with the positive direction of x axis it is the angle formed by formed by op with the positive direction of x axis okay so theta is the here yeah, theta is the argument so do you want to find the what is the value of theta so here if you if you want to find it so uh, as you know that uh, this is uh, a can be written as r cos theta also yes r cos theta and b can be written as r sin theta Ab now you can say uh, so why how you uh, you are uh, taking this uh, this a as r cos theta and b as r sin theta what is r r is actually this this length of op okay you know that the 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 modulus you took and uh, here uh, 
Why did you put R? Because you know that sin theta. What is sin theta? Is actually the ratio of uh, ratio of uh, the what base uh, perpendicular and hypotenuse. What perpendicular is B and hypotenuse is R. What is cos theta? It is the ratio of your base and hypotenuse. Base is A and hypotenuse is R. Are you getting? So in this way, you can say B equal to R sin theta and a equal to r cos theta all right so that's why i have taken this so now you need to find the value of theta so it when you divide this you will get theta tan theta equal to uh, b by a okay so like b by a uh, upon as you know sin theta upon cos it would be sin theta upon cos theta yes you know so what the value of sin theta b upon r and a upon a upon r b upon r into r upon a so you would get here b upon a so what is in this way you can find what is theta theta would be tan inverse b upon a okay very simple very easy so theta is the angle i am repeating it again theta is the angle formed by line op with the positive positive direction of okay x axis the real axis not x axis x axis sorry the real axis this one is the real and this one is imaginary what next uh, you want to find more any cons again plain conjugate of complex number okay conjugate so okay you can we can also work with the conjugate part okay so this is suppose z is the complex number here and if you want to find the the conjugate part it would be a minus iota b just you need to do what uh, change the sign of the imaginary part so how would you do this actually uh, the uh, this one is the real part as you know the real axis and this one is the imaginary axis okay imaginary axis so here if you represent this point as p comma a p a b this one is origin so and uh, this is theta all right so this would be p a minus b yeah i think yes the positive and this one is the negative so a minus b this is the fourth quadrant so i think uh, uh, so not i think it is it is given by mathematician i am not giving any uh, anything so it can be represented this p a b is actually the it is looking the image of it is the image of of p so you can write it as p dash so p dash is the image of p okay as uh, we name it as the conjugate so the representation the representation is here that you can say that a minus iota b because it is in four quadrant fourth quadrant so it is geometrical representation of the what the conjugate part okay and what next uh, real part imaginary part do you want to find com conjugate okay we have done this with the conjugate and uh, we have done with the yes principal value of argument so how would you find the principal value of argument so here the theta that means uh, when the general form generally we take 0 to 2 pi but you know that the theta that means uh, you can take any value of theta here uh, so we have to find the principal value so let's uh, no no don't, don't i can also show you show you here with this okay suppose the principal value i'm going to tell you okay mm. So this was theta. This is also theta. You know that this is also theta, and this will be also theta. So we have the quadrant first, second, third, and fourth. Okay. This is P A B P A minus B. This here you would have P minus A minus B, and here you P minus. Uh, sorry, here have minus. A, yes, I minus A and minus b here and minus a and positive b here all right i hope you have 
learned all these things in the in the coordinate geometry how you represent mm, okay so here we have to take uh, the value of theta okay so theta would be in between minus pi to pi okay here like this so try to take so theta in the first quadrant theta would be theta okay in the first quadrant if you ask okay in the first quadrant the uh, the principal value of theta would be theta in the second quadrant it would be pi because you need to do this uh, if it is in second quadrant so how would you take it is pi the total pi okay and then you are subtracting pi minus theta okay this one. so actually you are considering this angle only with the positive direction of real axis okay this angle so it would be pi minus theta okay so what if you talk about the third quadrant third quadrant okay so it would be uh, let's do with the fourth quadrant first quadrant fourth quadrant is actually minus theta if it is theta then this would be minus theta okay because you are going anti clockwise here minus theta and what would be here uh, this what about this so you can also find uh, find minus theta okay not minus theta uh, in the second quadrant uh, you can take the negative part of this this would be minus of minus pi minus theta that means minus pi plus theta so you can say that theta plus pi theta plus is it theta, theta minus pi sorry theta minus pi means all this so the principal value of theta in the first quadrant theta second quadrant pi minus theta third quadrant minus theta okay and uh, when you talk about fourth quadrant so it would be uh, when i fourth quadrant my it, it would be this is minus pi you know that this is minus pi and when you add this okay when you add theta you would come here then you, you would reach at the point at this point because we need only this one okay only this so that's why minus pi this would minus pi and you are adding plus theta that's why all right so minus pi plus theta okay so this is the principal value so let's take an example and try to solve this so we have where the question okay find the argument of the amplitude of complex number z equal to sin alpha plus iota 1 minus cos alpha so you need to find the argument here okay argument z so what would be it be argument is actually theta equal to yes theta equal to tan inverse b by a what is b b is the uh, imaginary the co the coefficient of i the iota okay b is 1 minus cos alpha upon upon what is a is the real part okay sin alpha all right so tan inverse what would you do with this 1 minus cos alpha you have to eliminate this this one so it would be 1 minus 2 uh, 2 cos square alpha by 2 minus 1 i think now I, we cannot cancel it so you would apply 1 minus 2 sin square alpha by 2 yes and here with the sin alpha sin 2 alpha is 2 sin alpha cos alpha what would be sin alpha 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 yes so tan inverse you would get here 1 1 cancel 2 sin square alpha sin sin cancel you will end up with the sin alpha by 2 upon cos alpha by 2 it would be sin alpha by 2 upon cos alpha by 2 this is tan alpha by 2 and tan tan cancel out and it would be alpha by 2 all right so you can tan inverse tan alpha by 2 answer is alpha by 2 should we do the next question here am i doing wrong or right i think it is right yes now what do you have to do next 
find the roots of the quadratic equation okay we can also find the root of the quadratic equation find the roots of the quadratic equation i think it is audible or not uh, find the root of the quadratic equation okay and equation is 2x square plus 3 iota x plus 2 equal to 0 okay so we have a equal to 2 when when you compare with the uh, standard form a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 b equal to 3 iota and c equal to 2 so we need first um, solve for d discriminant method I'm going to apply b square minus 4 ac what would be b square is 3 iota square minus 4 a is 2 c is c is oh c is 2 so 9 iota square is minus 1 minus 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 minus 9 minus 16 it was minus 25 okay now we are applying x equal to minus b plus minus root d upon 2a so you would get here minus b what is b is minus 3 iota so minus of minus 3 iota plus minus root d is minus 25 upon 2a what is a a is 2 okay so here you can solve 3 iota plus minus root uh, to, uh, square root of 25 is 5 and root minus 1 is iota upon 4 so you end up with here 3 iota uh, plus 5 iota upon 4 comma 3 iota minus 5 iota upon upon 4 8 iota upon 4 8 iota upon 4 it will be 2 iota and 3 iota upon minus minus 5 iota it would be minus 2 iota that means minus 1 by 2 iota so is it i think it is yeah 538 8 upon 4 2 minus 5, five minus 3 5 minus 3 is 2 minus 2 upon 4 1 upon 2 iota all right so in this way you can solve the roots of the quadratic equation okay so the roots are imaginary here because you, you you've got what d less than zero so you have you have learned in the class 10th also here so okay the polar representation so so we have the polar representation of the complex number suppose a plus iota b it can be represented as i have explained you a can be written as r a cos r cos theta I have explained also why 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 you can take this I have explained you in the in the graphical representation b equal to r sin theta okay so in this way you can you can write z equal to r uh, cos theta plus iota sin theta like this this is actually what we call it the polar representation where r is the uh, what modulus of z theta is the argument you know so what would we do with this so suppose if you want to the question 1 plus root 3 iota if you want to convert it in, into the folder form how would you convert okay this is very important first you have if you represent this this so okay so you would uh, you can take point p 1 comma root 3 in the first quadrant okay so the what will the principal value here the principal value you take for theta would be would be theta only okay theta only so all right what about z okay what about r here first you have to take r what is r? modulus z is actually under root of real part square 1 square plus imaginary part square it is okay plus 
Am I doing wrong? I think. Real part square or imaginary part? Let me check first. Uh, where is the argument I have? Written everything on, on a piece of paper. Argument. Okay. Radiation function, the argon plane, division, multiplication. Okay. Okay. All right. Model is. It is actually. Uh, I didn't mount the S. Okay. All right, it is root three square. So one plus three root four. It is two. Now, uh, what about you have to find the value of theta also. The argument theta is equal to tan inverse b by a. What is b? Root three. What is a? One. So what about root three? Tan sixty is root three. Yes, the tan sixty tan inverse tan sixty is pi by three. And since since you know that uh, here this theta belongs to minus pi by two to pi by two upon interval, so we can can cancel it tan inverse and tan theta, so you would get here pi by three. And uh, and uh, your prince according to the principal value, you have to take the value theta here because it is the first quadrant. So theta is all right, okay. So you so your polar formation is R cos theta. Plus iota sine theta, where you can place r equal to two cos theta as theta is pi by three plus iota sine sine theta is what pi by three. What if you take z equal to what if you take z equal to one minus root three iota? Then what would you do? Now you uh, this. Will be in the second quadrant, yeah. No, no, it will not be in the second quadrant. It would be in the let's do this. So it is one positive and negative, like this. All right. How would you convert now? As you know that modulus of z. And modulus of its conjugate is same, okay? It's same. So, but you have to convert it into the, into the here. The modulus of z here is two, okay? Same, same, same. In the similar manner, you will get here like how? In the root of imaginary square, uh, real square plus imaginary square means root minus root three. Uh, Minus root three square. That means you get again three. So root four equal to two. All right. So cos theta. Here we have a problem with theta because you have to take take the value theta as since it is in the what in the fourth quadrant. You have to take minus theta. So here we would put what minus pi by three. What minus pi by three. Okay. Okay. Because you have to take the What do you call it? The principal value of the argument. So, so since it lies in the second quadrant here, sorry, in the fourth fourth quadrant that, and in the fourth quadrant, principal value of of your theta is uh, what minus theta. So I would put it like this. I would have sign of minus pi by three. All right. Now you, here you can change what cos of negative theta. You know that. What is this? Uh, positive theta, so you can write here cos pi by three plus iota. You can write here minus uh, minus iota sine pi by three like this, or you can leave it here also. Polar representation we have done. Okay, Euler, Euler form of complex number. Euler, Euler form of Euler form of complex number. It is nothing. It is actually only the representation where where it is written, written as e raised to power i theta like this. Okay, so you can write it as a r cos theta plus iota sine theta. Okay, so this is. 
the Euler form of the complex where r you know what is theta and what is r you know that is ok. So, it is the representation e r e raised to power sorry r e raised to power i theta. So, uh, so you can uh, you can say that e raised to power i theta is what cos theta plus iota sin theta cos theta plus iota sin theta ok. So, the polar form can be rep rep uh, represented as r e raised to power iota theta. So, this is called Euler form of the complex number. So, here you you have understood what z can be written as z can be written as uh, this is a plus iota b this can be written as r cos theta plus iota sin theta and this also can be written as e raised to power i theta like this in the Euler form ok. So, z can be written in three form this one is called polar form this is normal form this one is Euler form ok. Now, what we have we have next to uh, anything left ok is the conjugate of this find the value of x ok. If the question is if x minus iota y 3 plus 5 iota is the conjugate of is the conjugate of what is conjugate of what minus 6 minus 24 iota ok then find the value of x and y yes both. So, here we have this is the conjugate of this. So, the product of this so x minus iota y and 3 plus phi iota y is equal to the conjugate of this and the conjugate of this what do, what do you do with this what will be the conjugate of this only you need to change the sign of what the imaginary part ok. So, 24 iota like this find the product. So, it, you would get here 3 x plus uh, 5 iota x ok minus 3 iota y minus plus minus 5 iota y iota square y alright 5 iota square y equal to minus 6 plus 24 iota. Now, th uh, real part so here minus minus plus so 3 x plus 5 y the real part what is the imaginary part take iota common 5 x minus 3 y ok here the real part and this will only be equal this will only be equal when real part will be equal to the real part and imaginary part will be equal to the ima imaginary part. So, 3 x plus 5 y equal to minus 6 and 3 x sorry 5 x minus 3 y equal to 24. When you solve these two equation by elimination method you will get the answer of x and y ok. Let us move to the next question. Now, what is the next question? Well, x if x plus iota y is 1 plus ok. If x plus iota y equal to 1 plus iota 1 plus 2 iota 1 plus 3 iota ok and so on 1 plus n iota ok this is the question. Then find x square plus y square fine then find x square plus y square x ok ok where is the cap of this ok I have now. So, you need to focus on x square plus y square. So, how do you get this? So, you know that when you multiply x plus iota y with x minus iota y, you will get here x square plus y square the conjugate that means x plus iota y uh, suppose this is z ok and you know that z into its conjugate ok you will get here x square plus y square what 
the real pa real real part square plus imaginary part square like this the coefficient of imaginary part square so here you get here so first find the conjugate of this x plus the conjugate of this is x minus iota y you need to change only the sign of the re, uh, imaginary part so here you would also do with the uh, change the sign of the imaginary part 1 minus iota 1 minus 2 iota 1 minus 3 iota dash dash 1 minus uh, n iota all right okay when you multiply these two someone is playing flying kites and the sound is coming here sorry for interruption x minus iota y when you, when you find the product as you know that uh, this is z and z this is the conjugate one so you'll get here what the x square plus y square you know okay when you when you uh, find the product 1 plus iota and 1 minus iota you'll get here 1 square plus 1 square 2 yeah you would get 2 1 plus 2 iota 1 minus 2 iota when you find the product you get here 1 square plus 2 square iota square this it would be 5 dot okay uh, again 1 square minus 3 square iota square 9 plus 1 it is 10 and so on I think yeah yes yes so it would be um, uh, 1 square in the similar manner plus n square okay this is the answer yes so this is what this is the answer so here okay I think yes this is the answer very easy what next if you have if you want to find the square root of the complex number how would it be yes suppose you have uh, under root of a plus iota b how would you find this okay so the we uh, our mathematician have uh, what solve this in a, in a in, and uh, solve a proper method or you can say the formula for this and it is plus minus okay uh, under root half okay this, there is a pattern under root of a square plus b square plus a are you getting plus iota in a similar manner half under root of a square plus b square okay minus a and and it is when when b is greater than 0 okay when b is greater than 0 what about when b is less than 0 okay when b is less than 0 th then it would be what uh, plus minus you don't need to do anything like write only half under root of the same part a square plus b square plus a only do minus iota half under root of a square plus b square minus a okay when b less than 0 all right okay what about if you have a question a find value of a plus iota b plus under root of a minus iota b ah, isn't it a minus iota b what would be so if, if b is less than 0 if b is less than 0 what it would be a minus iota b you can see here but anyways so and what would the value of a plus iota b if you get minus of a minus iota b so here very easy what would you do uh, since we have root a plus iota b is this and and uh, a minus iota b is this okay since we have b is less than 0 so when you take b is less than 0 it, it would be a minus iota b so when you add this so you will get the the re, uh, for from for, from addition you will get the real part and from subtraction you will get the imaginary part so you, what would you write two times of what the real part okay the two times of anything let me write here plus minus okay 
2 times of under root of like same a square same here a square plus b square plus a okay 2 times only and what about this plus minus okay here also 2 times but imaginary part so imaginary part, part is iota under root of 2 same here this part a square plus b square minus minus a all right very easy very simple so you can uh, apply this formula for the for many questions so let us do one question related to this so find find the value of find the value of what 4 plus 4 plus okay 4 plus what is 3 root minus 20 okay raised to power what is this 1 by 2 and plus 4 minus 3 root minus 20 raised to power 1 by 2 okay 1 by 2 means square root you know this is square root so here we have first convert this 4, four uh, plus uh, you can write it 3 root 20 iota okay and this is what this is root okay and plus root 4 minus 3 root 20 iota all right so you have you can see here a plus here the formation a plus b b iota okay plus a minus b iota okay so what is the answer here plus minus what to do plus minus this part the plus minus so we have to work with only these two okay so you get here plus minus what is the plus minus 2 under root 2 under root of a square plus b what is a the real part is 4 okay 4 square plus imagine part 3 root 20 whole square okay plus plus a what is a is the real part okay so this one is very easy when you solve this so you get definitely the answer okay let us solve bracket close so we'll get here 16 plus uh, 3 square 9 and 20 square 20 root 20 square 20 2 nines are 180 okay no sorry uh, uh, 9 yes 9 to the 18 all right 180 plus 4 okay so it will be plus minus when you calculate it you will get here uh, it is 198 plus 4 do you have the solution or not I do not have the solution of this when you solve this 2 times of uh, 198 root 198 what would you do 198 so 2 9s are 18 ok 2 9s are 18 and 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 9 again here 3 11 here you get what 11 so you would have you would have plus minus you can write with uh, 2 3 outside here you would get and you would get here 33 sorry 22 inside plus 4 so solve this you will get the answer I wanted to give give you the only the concept here in the exam you will get very easy easy one where you can find the square root and all ok so I hope you have understood uh, I want to see one more thing or not properties of complex number so z1 mod z1 plus z2 okay is less than what 
is less than mod z1 equal to mod z1 plus mod z2 okay and here we have in general form we have general formula also z1 plus no don't talk about general formula because we so i hope you have understood we'll do uh, all the questions in the class thank you very much for watching this video thank you